Hello and welcome to CineTracer version 0.5. Today we're going to be looking at how to build in a little bit more detail. So let's go right into the building menu and we're going to skip all of this stuff and go right to grid. Grid are all basically white box, gray box, video game level design assets. Uh, and this is how a lot of video games get designed here. So we have a couple main classes that you're going to want to familiar yourself, uh, familiarize yourself with. The first is the floor, which we already have the full wall. We have a cube, we have a half wall, and I'm gonna bring in a full ramp. Those are the main things you need to worry about as you're building. So we're gonna start to build some stuff here. I'm gonna hit one, and I'm gonna build out a little three by three floor here. This is really fast, like that. Really quick to build a three by three. And now we're gonna hit five, and I'm gonna build a ramp. And all of these are built to work with each other. I'm going to hit one and you'll see that this ramp is now perfectly placed here and it becomes really quick to build a second story, so to speak. But it's a ramp, right? Like you don't see ramps all that much. Just know that behind the scenes when you're building stairs and more complicated things that anything that gets you up between levels like this is essentially a ramp. Uh, we've just modeled it to look like stairs, but really this is what's going on behind the scenes in the way that you might want to think about it. The next thing is these cube assets. These are still kind of work in progress, but when it comes to kind of further blocking out space here, these cubes do a really good job of just freestyling something like that. We don't know exactly what it is, but maybe you want to block out space. It's a very Minecraft, right? So I'm going to get rid of those by hitting E and then clicking and deleting stuff. And the next piece is four, which is a half wall. And you'll see that this is snapping a little bit differently than the other pieces because it's smaller. And this is going to allow you to build a uh, more varied breakup of the walls like this. Uh, you can even kind of combine them back to make a four piece. And now you have sort of a little closet or a little room, right? So this half wall is going to allow you a lot of variations that the old system uh, didn't allow for very easily. Here that's really simple. So let's go back into building and look at some of the other things we have going on. We have half ramps, which will be half of that ramp there. We have roofs. We have different stairs. We have rails so what i want to look at is actually we'll take this um 90 staircase right now and let's take our quarter quarter floor let's take a column and let's take a rail so these are even different pieces it's a lot of them but uh these are essentially the bare minimum building pieces we really need to make sets possible so i'm going to hit one i'm sorry i'm going to hit three and we now have our quarter floor so this is going to allow you to do things like this or that, right? So you're able to make more variations, but again, it's going to help you by perfectly snapping it together at the right height and the right divisions like that. Uh, what you can do is you can always switch to editor. If you want to do it uh, even further off grid, you can just bump it a little bit, right? And if you default, don't change anything, you will actually end up right back on the grid perfectly like this. So you can scoot things around, uh, you can click them and hit C, you have another one, and you can build floating pieces if you want. This is where if you want to get a little bit more freestyle, go to the editor, uh, that's going to be the way to do that. So I'll delete those. Switch back into character mode here, and let us build one of these new staircases here. I'm going to hit 2, and we're going to get this stair, right? So this is basically two ramps uh, in other sets, you'll, as we'll see in a little bit. These are actually going to look like stairs, but this is what's going on. You can hit one and you can keep building. So you probably, if you don't come from video games, you may have never built a multi-story building before that snaps together like this. And if you were using any other program, uh, it would be even still pretty hard to do it. Actually, you still have to kind of uh, do a lot of guessing and making sure things are snapping to the perfect increments here. It does it for you. And we're going to jump back here, and this is worth noting right now, that this set, the grid set, and the residential set, which we're going to look at next, these are all based off of 400 centimeters by 400 centimeters by 300 centimeters tall, pretty much 10 feet tall. So that is why these all snap perfectly together like this. These are a 300 tall set. And uh, to look ahead, the commercial and the urban sets here, this will be more obvious in the UI eventually, these are based on 400 tall walls. So if you were to mix them together, the floors and the stairs wouldn't match. So that is something that will continue to make more apparent in the UI. But those are the only two variations we have for now. 
So we've gone all the way up here, and say you want to put a barrier or a railing, you're going to hit 5, and this is our kind of generic block out railing. It snaps every 200. And you want to place these from the inside, right? You don't want to be flying around on the outside. You want to be inside the space. You place them and they perfectly should snap in there and bury them like that. We can even come down here and do the same thing. So these are like kind of foundational building pieces that you need to make locations. Again, if you do not care about building, why are you watching this video? But we'll be having all of these um, in the prefabs as well. For the people that just want to load up levels, uh, these barriers play a, a major role in designing them out. So that's us putting barriers in there. And the last piece we're going to look at for this set is the column. We're going to hit 4, and you'll see that this stuff pretty much tells you where it wants to go. Uh, it's up to you to just decide where. So we're dropping columns to help support this platform above. Right, so we're doing a little bit of architecture here, just a little bit, right? And so for this block out set, it's not perfect, right? We have little intersections and they're kind of like in a weird place. But this is kind of here to show you if you want to get into like a really simplified version of the game, which I think this is really nice for actually designing certain scenes. Just keep it simple. You don't know exactly what it's going to be. Use this like a white box, like a gray box, just like they do in video games before they commit to it. You can actually now go and start painting this if you want. Hit O. I mean, I'm going to just actually pull the saturation out, which makes it uh, a gray. And I'm just going to make it darker, right? I'm going to reset this one with right click to white. And say I just want the floor to be gray, like this. And I want these floors to be gray. So I'm just going to run around and click them. Go up here. Gray, gray, gray. And look at this. We have a whole different looking set like this. So this is the grid set again down here. It's at the bottom. And this is where I go and I make new pieces to test them out uh, to see if they're going to work in the snapping system before I go build out the more themed versions that look like final assets. I think it's a lot of fun to do this, uh, to work in this kind of white box, gray box. And I've heard from a lot of people, actually, that they want things that, uh, that are a little bit more generic like this so that the clients aren't uh, concerned with the little architectural details. It's more just generically that we have a staircase that goes up to some platform it could be a house, it could be whatever you want. This is that set, and I really recommend, if you're interested in building, to start using this one first. So I'm just going to do a couple more things here. Let's grab something like, let's not look at the trims just yet. Um, let's look at uh, this roof piece. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, this one, let me do it in a different order. Let's take a gable roof. Let's take a slope roof, and then we're going to take our wall slope like that and this one here roofs are pretty tricky right so I, I know that a lot of people may never really get into them because they are a little bit of work i'm gonna grab a quick wall as well and let's put a little wall here i'm gonna do wall 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 so say we want to put a roof on this if you hit one you're gonna get this and you're gonna want to fly and you spin these objects for now until i implement the scroll wheel which you'll see it says soon we haven't done it yet you're going to look in different directions and that's going to spin it around, but it's going to try to help you snap in there. So we're going to left click and there's a little gable roof. If you want to fill that in uh, with the walls, we have a matching gable wall. So that's how this works. We're going to hit one, snap it right in there, another one. And this one has its seams exposed because again, it's the blocking set. Uh, on the other sets, you won't have that. It'll be covered by some like special decoration. But that's how a gable would work, like that. So I'm going to hit E and delete that away. I'm going to hit 5, and I'm going to build a little bit more of a set over here. Turn like that. And uh, hit E for this one. I'm going to hit C to duplicate it. So we brought it over. That's another way of doing it. And say we want to put a different style roof on this. We can hit 2, and we get... Oop, I, I stopped flying. We're going to get a sloped roof. So I'm going to go like this, spin around, and you'll get that. And then to fill it, again, we have a wall here, like this, that fills it in perfectly. Like that. I'm, gonna put, I'm actually going to go do this one, and then this one, and this one we got to do kind of from the inside. Right? So there is a roof, and we also have a turned roof here, the cornered roof, like that. So mess around with them. They basically tell you how they work by... Uh, snapping in place, especially within this grid set, which is 300 tall base. 
And if you play around long enough, you can make some very large and very intricate complicated sets while still keeping the materials kind of simple, which may work for your aesthetic and how you like to plan. I think they look kind of cool with this grid pattern and this type of lighting. It's kind of like a SketchUp Architects look. And if you're interested in building again, I really recommend spend a couple hours building different things here and it'll make the other sets that much more straightforward. So that wraps it up for this video. Uh, in the next one, we're going to be looking at the residential set and also the warehouse.